In this video, we're going to talk about optimizing your Wix website for search engines. This is called search engine optimization. This is a very deep topic, and a lot of people have a lot to say on this. We're going to go over just the basics to make sure that you're set up for success and that your site is optimized correctly when you launch it. The first thing we can do is go to the Wix dashboard and then go to Marketing and SEO on the left-hand menu, and then under SEO, Get Found on Google. So this is a little tool Wix has. They call it the Wix SEO Wiz. And they'll help you pick out some keywords and get started on optimizing your site. So first we're going to put in our business name, Nomadic Caleb. I'm going to say it's online only. And to describe it, we're going to say travel blog, travel blogger, travel photographer. So these keyword phrases need to be phrases that people might be searching for when they're looking for your business. So for us, if we have a travel blog, they might be looking for a travel blog, travel blogger, travel photographer. These are keywords, search terms that we're targeting. If you had a plumbing business, you might have something, your keywords might be something more like plumber Austin, plumbing company Austin, something like that. Okay, so we're going to create our SEO plan using these three terms, travel blog, travel blogger, travel photographer. And now Wix is going to give us a list of recommendations to make sure our site is optimized. So it looks like we've done three of the seven, one being the homepage text is optimized, which it just means our keywords are included in our homepage text. Our homepage is set to be visible in search results, and I'll show you where that is in a minute, and our site is mobile friendly. So remember we optimized our site for mobile devices earlier. So the first thing we need to do is optimize our homepage and also our other pages by changing their meta tags to reflect our site. So meta tags are what you see on Google when you search for something like travel blog. So this right here is the meta title and this is the meta description. So these are just terms that mean the title on Google or other search engines and the description on Google or other search engines. In the front page editor, if we click pages, main pages, we can click these three dots next to the home or any other page. And the second option is going to be SEO, and it says Google in parentheses. If we click there, we, we open up this menu, and this is where we can change the meta title and meta descriptions for each of our pages. So we want to have meta tags, so the meta title and meta description, that contain some of the keywords we're targeting. So we set three keywords, travel blog, travel blogger, travel photographer. So I'm going to add those in here. Okay, Matt Caleb, travel blogger, come check out my award-winning travel blog and see some of my awesome travel photography. You see we're adding these keywords so that Google knows what our website's about. So we're going to do similar things for each page. Okay, so now all our meta tags and meta descriptions are set. Let me show you one more thing. At the bottom of each SEO page, you'll see this tab that says Shows Page and Search Results. You know that checked. If you uncheck it, the page won't be crawled by the search engine's bots, and it won't be listed on search engines. There's also advanced SEO, but that's a little beyond the scope of this course, and really you probably won't need to mess with it to perform well on search engines. Okay, so let's make sure to publish our site first, and once it's published, let's go to the Wix SEO Wiz and refresh it and see how we're doing now. Okay, but now we're missing one more thing. Add the home page's description for search results. So we forgot the business name in our description. So let's go back, and then in Home, SEO, Google, we'll have, come check out Nomadic Caleb's award-winning travel, travel blog. We published it, and then we refreshed it. Okay, now we got the check. The last two things we need to do are, are connect our site to the domain and connect to Google Search Console. So now that we have the basics of our site 
optimized for search engines. So our next step is to apply a premium plan to our website and then assign a domain name to our website. And in case you don't know, a domain name is just this, nomadicnet.com. Obviously, this is the name that I ripped Nomadic Caleb off of. Okay, 